Hi boys and girls, it's Tuesday today, so let's find it on our calendar. It's the next rectangle along, and if you look up to the top, it starts with a T for Tuesday, May 12th. Today is the 12th, so a 1 and a 2 make 12. So let's place a sticker on Tuesday. Uh, let's see, I'm going to do a smiley face with a kiss. And now I'm ready to start. So I bet you already know what animal we're making for the letter Z. I thought it was pretty obvious. It's a zebra. And this is what it's going to look like when we're all done. So um, you can pull out the green paper that is in your um, packet. And it should look like this. Okay, so put your big white Z to the side and on your green piece of paper, mine's kind of a turquoise color, um, we're going to practice tracing those Z's just like we did yesterday in our workbook. So make sure you start at the top, do a short line across, long line diagonally down, and a short line along the bottom. And we have two of those, and once they're traced it will say Z is for zebra. So I'll place this down here and make sure you can see and we can get started. So we're going to do a short line across, diagonal line down, and a short line across the bottom. Now let's do this Z. A short line across, diagonal line down, and a short line across the bottom. Looks pretty good, right? I think so. Oops. So next, we have to make our black stripes on our Z. So you can see I have already drawn them in paper so it's easy for you to see where to make them. Now, when we do this in class, I like to use paint. So you certainly can use paint if you want, but I'm gonna use a marker today. So you can decide with your grown-up what you would like to use. You could even use a black crayon if you prefer. But if you do end up using paint, you're gonna have to sort of put it to the side and let it dry for a while before you do the rest of the project. So marker might be a good choice. Um, okay, I am gonna, um, let's see, I'm gonna draw these on first before I glue my Z on. So you can do this with me. And I'm just gonna follow those pencil marks all the way down my Z. And I'd love for you to start in the corner over here, just like you would if you were tracing the letter Z. We always start at the top, right? And then we're gonna finish down in this bottom corner. Now make sure you take your time so it looks really nice and you're able to do your best work. And once you're all done, we can get out our glue stick. So I'm gonna place this to the side. I'm going to flip this over so I put the glue on this side and start adding that glue. Remember how we did it in school? We can just do little circular motions. We don't want it to become too goopy. I'm going to go around my edges here so everything sticks on really well. And I've got it covered in glue. Okay, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to be careful not to cover up the words. All right, now I'm gonna press it down smooth. All right, looks pretty good, right? So next, let's look again at our finished zebra. And we can talk about what to do next. Why don't we add his cute pink nose? Now, if I remember correctly, I think I traced it for you so you could cut it out. So you can go ahead and get scissors and cut that out. However, if I'm mistaken and it's already cut out for you and it looks like this, you can just glue it on. So I'm going to glue mine on, but again, take your time. I know you probably have to cut yours out, okay? And we can always pause the video because you'll probably need a little bit more time. All right, I'm going to flip that over and stick that at the top of my Z. What a nice cute pink nose he has, huh? Okay, now why don't we add his tail? Do you see where the tail goes? It goes at the end of the Z, right here. And I kind of tucked mine under the white Z. 
sort of like this. And if you look, if I put this on here, it's going to come off the table. And that's okay. I'm sorry, come off the paper. And that's absolutely fine. So I'm going to put some glue on the part that's going to stick. I'm going to try to tuck it under. There we go. That looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. So he needs two more things. Do you know what they are? He needs an eyeball, which I think you'll need to get out of your bag in the little Ziploc bag. You can pick an eyeball. And he needs some hair. Just like you probably saw in the pictures and the video that I sent you, they have hair just like horses do. And so for the hair, we're gonna use wool. And I gave you a piece of that in your bag as well. But, where's my wool? Here it is. I just gave it to you with one long piece of string like this. So you're gonna to need to cut it. So, I want it to be a couple of inches long, which so about, I don't know, this long, maybe as long as your finger. I'm gonna cut a few of those. And you know what I would really love for them to be about the same length for my zebra. So uh, roughly, doesn't have to be exact, but about the same length. And I might do about five or six. You can decide how many you'd like to do. I've got four. Five and six. All right. So now that I have all my hair, I want to place it coming out of the back of his head. See how I did that here? I've got his nose on this side. And at the back of that first line of the Z, I'm going to place a long line of runny glue. And then I'm going to place my um, wool on top of that line of runny glue. So you can watch me do it on the video and then you can copy it. All right, here's my runny glue, my school glue. And I'm gonna put a line, let me make sure that's coming out, there we go. All up and down the side of that first line. Okay, and then I'm gonna start placing my wool on it. And don't worry if you get a little glue on your fingers, we can wash it off afterwards. There we go. Now he's starting to look like a real zebra. There we go. That looks pretty good. We're going to have to let that dry for a bit so that it doesn't fall off if we take it, pick it up too early. So place it somewhere flat to dry. And all I have left, I'm going to lift it up carefully, is an eyeball. But I gave you guys all my eyes, so I'm going to use my marker. And I'm just going to draw one on, but you can use a sticker if you'd like. So I'm going to put my eye right here behind his nose. And now he's ready to go run in the fields with all his friends. So I hope you had fun, fun making your zebra. I cannot believe it's our last animal of the alphabet, but he's a pretty cute guy for the last one. Um, and I will see you soon. Bye, everybody.